NEP. That's why economy baru. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Yes, in my Sajara book. NEP? Yep. Do you know the meaning Honest. of it? Honestly. No, and you haven't heard about it at all? What's that? You never heard about it before? No. I think it's like a social academic program which introduced by our league Prime Minister, I think, Tony Abdul Raza. Mm -hmm. um, and it's actually to make to make a unity in the world. TV is like to, how do you say, it's like mengembang economy or something like that, is it? I, I don't know anything. <laughs> I know, but I kind of still remember it and I try to read about it at uh, Wikipedia. Yeah? Yeah. To close the gap of, uh, how do you say that? Uh, can I say Malay? Yeah. <laughs> um, menutup ruang perbezaan pekerjaan antara races, yeah, right? three main races. Yes, I heard it before from my previous uh, high school, secondary high school, and what I know about NEP is a new economic policy, right? Or in Malay we call it Dasar Economic Baru. Maybe we use the poverty. Uh, NEP? You know the term? Yeah. Do you know any any anything about NEP no. in Malaysia? No. Never. Oh, oh, may I know why? Um, because in some cases, like um, when Malay have the privilege to um, control our economy, while uh, there's so much uh, chances that other uh, races like um, Chinese and Indians, they have more uh, bakat or something um, lagi pandai to kembangkan ekonomi, but then uh, only Malays have the right to I don't so. think so, because I think Malaysia has turned into a more progressive country, into a more modernized country after NEP has been introduced to Malaysia because um, uh, all of the three main races in Malaysia during that time, which is Malay, Chinese and India, are managed to get the same, I mean, same income, same jobs, without any discrimination. Uh, so I believe that what makes Malaysia... <laughs> uh, what? Progress. Much more uh, progress. Yes, you can see that uh, the living rate of Malaysia has been increased uh, from previously until now. But then, if you can look at a chart of uh, the most wealthiest uh, person in Malaysia, we can see that there is no Malay and basically Chinese and Indian like conquering all of them. Maybe it's not because uh, it's not because it's not fair or it's not because Chinese and Indians uh, try to conquer it, but I believe Malay is not uh, you know, don't have the higher survival rate in their life and then they're not trying to compete. They are not competing enough in the in the industry or anything uh, about economy. We not actually fully recovered the implementation on the national economy. Well, it still happened, but we can't see it really. But, yeah, it kind of progress a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. But there's nothing bad about it. Really. Tanya, hati ku tak keluar.